Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Here's this week's Mercury Marine, My Boat Feature. At the end of last boating season, you may have noticed the number of channels available to your boat's TV dwindled as broadcasters switched to digital transmissions. And that's because the tuners in the old analog televisions cannot receive those signals. So this week on My Boat, we'll take you through installing a brand new digital HD television and digital antenna system. Now first up is the installation of the digital antenna and the model I've selected here is the UFO from Triax which is a digital antenna that receives digital television, UHF and FM signals and is amplified as well. I started the project by opening up access to the radar arch. While most arches have access panels and raceways, this one required a bit more work. After taking positioning measurements off the GPS antenna, these were transferred from the center of the arch so the position for the TV antenna would match. With the mount centered on the arch, the mounting holes were marked, then drilled using a bit just marginally smaller than the diameter of the mounting screws. To prevent water penetration, a generous amount of marine silicone was injected into the four holes and the mount was secured with stainless screws. Now last week I took the time and pre-ran the coax cable through the aft cab and a note through the helm area. So all we're gonna do is fish it the rest of the way and hook it up. Next, a hole was drilled through the radar arch and the coax cable was fed through. After prepping the cable, the supplied connector was threaded on. To seal the hole from the elements, a stainless clamshell was installed by first positioning it and drilling the screw holes. Next, silicone was applied to all of the holes and the clamshell secured. Finally, the antenna was threaded onto the mount. Now the TV I've elected to install in my boat here is this majestic 19 inch. It's an LED TV with a built-in DVD player from Australia, originally developed for camping in the outback. So it's a 12 volt system, only drawing three amps. So no more running the generator when you wanna watch a movie in the evening. So first it was out with the old. And are you old enough to know what these are? Next, the mounting plate was attached to the TV. Then the TV was secured to the existing under cabinet mounting system. To access cabling and power, the fascia was removed from the existing stereo locker, the preferred location for the antenna signal amplifier. To mount the amp, the mounting plate is removed and mounted inside the locker. Then the amp was snapped into place. The first connection was the coax from the antenna. Then the feed to the TV was connected to the amp and TV inputs. Next, the length of power wires was determined, the wire cut, stripped, and the inline fuse holder connected. The setup was finished with a pair of terminals. The power wires for the TV came with a 12 volt plug-in. However, that was removed and the power supply plugged into the back of the TV. Again, an inline fuse holder was connected and terminals were crimped on. After fishing the power line in from the TV, the positive and negative wires were connected to the existing 12 volt bus bar, feeding power to the entertainment systems. After securing the amps wire, they were plugged into the amp. The last bit of wiring was to install a coax connector onto the antenna lead for the AM FM CD stereo and connect that to the amp. Finally, the power was switched on and the new 12 volt HD digital TV powered up and programmed. Now, oh, there you go. Beautiful digital HD television over the air, plus the ability to watch movies, all in 12 volt, keeping quiet at anchor. Now, that's it, a wrap for this, my boat. Now I have to neaten things up, put my stereo system back in, and of course, put that radar arch back together again. <laughs>